Now, what kind of parent would we be if we bailed our children out of every mess? <clears throat> Don't our parents say, Well, dear, I love you, but you got yourself into this, and you must get yourself out of it. You must claim responsibility and clean it up. If someone or something came and saves us, whether it be a deity or alien, even politicians, how do we learn? Is that not a great disservice and taking everything we have ever gone through here on earth all in vain, a total waste? That is like cheating on our final exam, having our parents sit in and do it for us. I truly feel that God does not answer our prayers the way we would like because he sent us. We are our answers to his prayers. I mean, we are our answers and his answers. He gave us everything we would need. Two hands, one brain, one heart. It is up to us what we choose to do with it. God has more faith in us than we do in him, it seems. God knows we can do it, so why can't we see that? Homer Simpson says that alcohol is a cause and solution to all of life's problems. I have my own spin on that. We are the cause and solution to our problems. In the document that I found in Sedona, the Illuminati say that their plan must be well underway by 2012. Why? Because 2012 is when they have to leave or heal. Could 2012 be the date that these ill-intent beings are scheduled to leave? Will they try to take as many as they can? Will they try to take as many as they can with them? Do we feel like we are running out of time because in truth it is not us running out of time but them? And they have integrated their... And they have integrated... I can't read. <laughs> and they have integrated out their desires with ours. That we are taught to care about their agenda and that their end should also be our end too. <clears throat> So many are conditioned to fight and defend the system, to take down anyone who threatens it. This is the prisoner who snitches on the other prisoners who are planning on, on making a break for it and, co and come back later to free the others. Only because the snitch is comfortable in prison and believes there is no hope, so why bother to try, or even that there is no prison? That that is freedom. Okay, but some do not see that, and they go on the trip, they leave their Geppetto to go with the circus cronies who play on their ideals and expectations, only to find it is, it is a trap, and they turn into jackasses, who will be sold for slavery and made into various things. I'm just trying to think of the con beings that will come. How tantalizing will their tales and promises be with neat tricks called miracles will be done to get people to come with the aliens posing as associating saviors. It reminds me of that Twilight Zone episode, To Serve Humans, where the people are completely trapped on this other world and become clone drones appetizers, kept in fear to feed their addiction. Could this be the birth of the Greys and how it started with them? This could, al could be also referring to people being taken to this other so-called Earth. How many of you have heard about that? Now just think about that for a minute. It is saying that Someone, some will make it and others will not. But are we not all one? And what happens to one of us to, happens to all of us? Case in point, what is occurring on earth? If this happens, then it fragments us again. I think this is another trap, a rather clever and subtle trap at that. Subtle trap at that. To quote Lilo and Stitch, Ohana means family and family means no one gets left behind. How many future probabilities have we done this, that we are having to deal with all these various beings that are fragmented versions of us, nearing very important things to us, so we do not repeat the same thing that we fragment ourselves yet again? I've been talking so much I'm losing my voice. Here is something very important I have learned, and why I have changed my tune to just being about the star crystal light children. I have come across some very advanced sleeping people. They are totally not conscious of who they are and what they are doing. They live a boring, sheeple life, but their eyes spoke otherwise. Yet they are highly active working with the divine in the etheric and dream realm. It knocked me flat on my butt and threw me for a major loop. Do all people need to be awakened, or are they masters, that are, or are there masters that do not need to be, and can do their work while they are asleep, like Edgar Casey, for example? 
I started to develop huge amounts of respect and understanding for the sleeping folk. The sleeping people are just as important as the crystal light children. Crystal star light children, so forth, all the names. After all, they can there after all, they can there can be no playing favorites. Like that poem I wrote with a similar title, Playing Favorites. Also, I used to be sleeping. Thank goodness I was, because otherwise, how would I ever understand what it was like for them? This creates just more compassion, pa patience, co unconditional love. Do not give in to the subtle card of separation being sold to the New Age racket. Alright, so we stay put on the planet. Now what? It seems not that... <laughs> Okay, so we stay put on the planet. Now what? It seems that it seems not very exciting compared to space, that explore, adventure, and us longing to go out there and discover new things. After all, we know all about Earth, but do we? As a piece of fruit that has fallen from its branch, that no longer that that longs to go back on that branch held up high, it must have been like heaven, and to fall to the ground and not be able to go home to get back on that branch is very sad for us. We cannot go home. We can only become home. That piece of fruit learns that inside itself are the seeds with memories of home, and it will become home. It will become the love, that lovely tree. But first it must allow itself to be buried in complete darkness and silence, all alone. All of humanity is here right now, and oh, how we hate it. It is just so scary and an uncertain place to be. What is so incredible about this, though, is that it is in this state that the seed develops its inner roots, and its inner roots give birth to its outer roots, and it reaches up and down at the same time. Hmm, like Jacob's Ladder. Which brings me to my point. Have we really explored all of this planet? Have we been underground to any subterranean layers and cities? Have we been to the bottom of the sea? Have we explored the other dimensions, beings who are living simultaneously to us right in front of our face? No, silly, you cannot go inside the earth. It's a big, fiery core. It is where hell is, but is it really? Heaven is up, hell is down, and that is what we have been taught, right? We are not taught that heaven is inside of us. Nope, we are told heaven is outside of us, somewhere in the clouds, and hell is inside the planet. And hell is inside the planet, the center, which is the macrocosm version of our body. So there is a subtle, clever way to fear us from ever looking within to our core. Oh no, that that is where hell is. How backwards indeed. After all, so many of us are subtly conditioned to be very afraid of self and to be left alone with our thoughts and soul archaeology. Of being left alone with our thoughts and soul archaeology. So quick to find a distraction of any sorts will do as long as we do not have to be left alone with ourselves. I was always aware of this, so I decided to teach myself to be okay with being alone with myself and my thoughts. When they became harsh and sent things to me that I did not, things like I did not deserve to eat, I, I bought into it for a bit. And then I decided to make a return on this crappy purchase. Excuse me, I do not want this. It broke my heart, and I demand that I speak to the manager of this thought and tell them to fix it. I challenged the manager and went to the factory of thought to learn where the problem started and demanded that no longer and demanded that they no longer sell these lousy thoughts to other unaware minds. Hey, that was fun standing up for myself. I want to explore my other thoughts as well. Hmm, there are lots of nasty beliefs here that are not even mine. I do not even know them. I, I, I do not even need them. I wonder when I purchased these. Like looking back at ourselves in pictures of the 80s and being perplexed. We thought that when, when we perplexed and when we thought that outfit was cool in the first place. When did we start to think that outfit was cool in the first place? That's it. Now, some could call this manager evil, but a con artist can only get away with such things if one is not paying attention or is blindsided by petty lies. This is what NLP, Neuro Linguistics Programming, is. I taught myself this, then I learned it was an actual study. I highly recommend others try it for themselves, as the more of this I did, the more my head became a much kinder, pleasant home.